Hi Trader, Tina here, shortmetina.com with my daily recap. Today's Monday, so happy Monday. Let me jump right into it. So today I'm gonna talk a little bit or do some recaps on small cap stocks. So we're gonna look at the market for that. So we're gonna pay attention to the IW1. You can clearly see here that uh, small caps, it's actually where it's at. Closed at 234. So we're basically trading, I believe, with the high today of 234.53 at all time highs. So this is a monthly chart. Yeah, definitely all time high. So this is a monthly chart going back to 2014. I definitely want you to focus in price action from 2016 around here uh, to most recently November of 2020. So, you know, I like those ranges, cons periods of consolidation, and the IWM, for the most part, kind of was like cycling to, through these two points. This is the lower end of uh, the range. This is the upper end of the range, and we finally broke. We've had breakdowns. I don't want to say that everything is or has always been rosy. You can see here, uh, March 2020, the pandemic, the subsequent month, you can see here, that we actually breached through that support level, which is relatively bearish. And you look here, you can see people were selling. But once we finally rebounded, um, you can say, and maintained above that lower end in June of 2020, for the most part, the uh, IWM has sort of walked up stair step. And we had this breakout, in my opinion, in November of 2020. And since then, you can see folks are actually pouring in. You can look here the last few months, nothing but um, absorption and buying closed at uh, 234.42, which is relatively close to all time highs. So right now the IWM is actually looking pretty good. So let's uh, talk about um, some lower price securities. All right, so we have to go to CHEK. Uh, we're looking at the hourly chart. Uh, you can see we had that initial spike. I wanna say the first hour of trading, right? Uh, the market went as high as 448, so you have this gap up. And if you look here the first two hours, you can see whoever was in the stock here was definitely unloading the first two hours. Uh, there wasn't much buying. You can see um, here and here, uh, the market tried to make that little pop, didn't have momentum, and were actually fading. Uh, if I was long this or if I bought up here, I probably wouldn't be holding because of the technicals. It doesn't mean that this stock cannot reverse, but again, just based on this, you can see folks were actually selling. No one really stepped in to kind of uh, drive the price of the security up, although it's still up 100% on the day. So we closed at 308, and side note, I have no idea why it's up 100%. This is just technicals, okay? So for anyone that's long, like don't at me saying anything about how I don't understand the company. I, I really don't. I'm just looking at the technicals. Um, I don't even know what C-H-E-K. I don't know what they do. So anyway, we closed at 308. Session lows clocks in at 303. And the fact that we closed at 308 just tells me that, uh, and I don't know what's going on in after hours, but it tells me that momentum has left the stop the stock, not stop, but momentum has left the stock. And uh, chances are, if it cannot hold this level, more than likely it's gonna crater. You're gonna see a print in the twos heading into tomorrow. All right, what else? Um, AABB, again, uh, just based on technicals, closed at 27 cents, up about 65% on the day. So I talk about that rounding bottom pattern. This is an hourly chart. You can see it sort of, trying to form itself here it isn't complete right we we are we have sort of like half or three-fourths of the rounding bottom i've seen this pattern unfold and anticipating a rounding bottom i would buy around here but you definitely need to be cautious because oftentimes this can break down and it can crater so close to 27 cents i'm just looking at price action for the day I would say heading into tomorrow, and we close relatively close to session highs. Session highs clocked in at around uh, uh, a little shy of 29 cents. So sitting here at 27, uh, again, we're close to that resistance level. If we can break through 29 cents, I think we have a real shot at hitting around 45.50. What else? All right, so SOS, again, hourly chart up about 23% on the day, closed at 8.14. Uh, you know, there's a lot that can be said about volume. Similar to AAB, right? You kind of see this sort of rounding bottom trying to form, and you can play it 
anticipating that it's actually going to complete this pattern and end up somewhere around 14 15 dollars or potentially it might break down so again looking at the shorter time frame it's an hour let's just focus in on what happened today you can see again we closed that uh let me delete this pardon me so we closed at 8 14 the high of the day clocks in here first hour of trading the high clocked in at 863 so we're not too far off of all time pardon we're not too far off of the daily highs uh, so for me for things to look pretty well with this stock i definitely would want it to get over uh today's high of around uh, 863 if it can sustain that uh, i can see this definitely getting to 10 and if it can build on this we can definitely see ourselves and then i'm not in this the stock at all well wow, that's too big uh, where's my arrow? I like arrows. It just kind of draws into, let's see if this one comes out big. I don't know. Oh no, it didn't. All right. So here, boom, that looks cute. So yeah, so if this pattern can actually complete, we can find ourselves revisiting here, which is north of $15. So not my cup of tea, like I don't like the volume, um, you know, just not my cup of tea, but based on what I'm seeing in the hourly chart, dating back to February, so that's about a month worth of data, just paying attention here, it looks like we're having that rounding bottom formation, which is relatively bullish if the pattern can continue. So sitting here at 814, for things to look good, it definitely needs to trade above uh, 863, which was today's high. Hope that makes sense. Comment in the comment section. I think I have one more on my list. All right, uh, and we're gonna wrap it and round it out with ticker SGLB. So uh, all these tickers, I'm just um, doing videos on them, paying and focusing on the technicals. I have no idea about the fundamental operation. So this is just the technical picture without the story or what I'm seeing, okay? So take it for what it's worth. Closed at 762, up 128% on the day. So huge congrats to the bulls. You can see definitely there was some buying here the first three hours of trading. We topped off at around 975 and you have that pullback close at 962. I don't think all is necessarily lost with this particular uh, stock or trade. Again, not my cup of tea, but for me, we're hanging right around that support level here of around $7.44, right? You can see we got that bounce. Actually, you can see here, we kind of topped off around that 74750 level the first hour of trading. Uh, then we revisited that in the third hour. And if you look here, even with the sell-off, you still sort of had that bounce around that 744750 level. So sitting here at 762, if we can manage to sort of hold that ground and not crater, uh, I think there's a possibility we revisit uh, around eight seventy to nine dollars, all right. But I think for things to again get to that level, we just really need to hang around here. If we start to crash, uh, then that for the bulls, in my opinion, doesn't look good. All right. I hope that makes sense. It's a Monday. Cut me some slack, okay? And if it doesn't make sense, uh, there's always do-overs, not necessarily with these stocks, but maybe others tomorrow when it's Tuesday and I have a little bit more umph, all right? Anyway, so let's cap it there with small caps today. Friday, I did crypto. If you didn't get a chance to listen to some of the cryptocurrencies that I'm in, definitely check out that video that I did on Friday. So we're going to cap it there. Tina here once again from shortmetina.com. If you enjoyed any portion of that video, do a few things for me. Uh, like and comment. Again, it really just kind of helps us get the word out. We don't advertise. We don't really have a budget for that. So uh, if you derive any value from these videos, just like share it somewhere. That's how more eyes get on me. Um, so even if you're sharing it like on your Facebook page or your Instagram, even like one extra, two extra eyes goes a long way. So do me a solid. If you're a longtime fan, just share this. That's one. Two, again, comment, 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 comment in the comment section. Oh, wait, did I say that? I think I already did. I think like, comment, and share. It's all under one umbrella. Anyway, uh, so... What we're doing right now, let's speed it up. What we're doing right now is we're hosting a free 14-day trading course in our website where I basically uh, basically um, inform you of all the things that I've learned trading the stock market for the last 20 years. These are things that I employ to this day that allowed me to go from being, oh my God, what am I doing? I'm losing all my money to a level of consistency. I didn't start off the year the best, 
um, in the equities mar market. I'm, I'm really killing it uh, with the crypto market. It's, it's crazy. But uh, the equity markets, I didn't uh, start off the best. I'm batting, not the best average, but not concerned and not concerned because, again, it's sort of like it's um, they always say trading is a sprint and not a marathon, right? I, no, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Why do I even bother with these sayings when I mess them up, huh? Why do I mess them up? Or why do I even bother? Anyway, point is you need to take your time. It's not get to where I'm going really fast, right? So I think in that sense, it would be a marathon because a sprint, you're moving fast. So training is a marathon. It's not a sprint. Or maybe I just need to come up with my own analogies. Uh, anyway, so if you're interested in that, 14 day trading course, no credit card needed. Just head on over to our website, shortmeetina.com. Sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening. And as always, thank you for the support. March Blitz continues, believe it or not. This is my third week doing this, my third week. Uh, and I'm going to see it through. Uh, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.